information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning in the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture. And a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. He gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So... you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute.
Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship, and I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. Seems like forever since I was an Alliance soldier. First I get tapped for the Spectres, now Cerberus. You succeed against odds most people wouldn't even take on. It's no wonder everyone wants you on their side. But I know it wears on you. So, how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them? And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy. Awkward. Sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base. But thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later.
help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. You want to talk about what happened with your father? I don't really have anything to say about that, Commander. It's done with. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. No Mrs. Taylor waiting in port, Jacob? I'm surprised. Don't be. Easier that way. Cerberus keeps you mobile. Aside from guarding you for two years. Not the worst job I've had, that's for sure. Where are you going with this? Just making sure I won't get my ass shot off if I make a move on you. Well, I wasn't expecting that, Commander. Shepard, I haven't looked at you that way. I, I mean, I've looked, sure, but not seriously. A an option, just not one I'd take. Okay. <laughs> now that I sound like an idiot, what I mean is, I won't disrupt the ship with this. Well, I'm thinking about it, Jacob. As far as I'm concerned, that's enough to get us um, moving. That's all it takes, huh? I'm just along for the ride. If you're lucky. All right, Shepard. You want to grab a drink sometime, maybe talk some more? We'll see where it goes. That might seem slow, but one nighting the commander is a quick way to get airlocked. I should get back to work. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. See you, Commander.
They've seen us. Baron. The Tarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. This one is... You. 
What are you doing? Dr. Kenson. I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're looking at a major diplomatic incident if the Batarians find out I was involved. This evidence better be worth it. It is. The Reapers are coming. Diplomacy is the least of our worries. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go! Ready. Should be a security console here somewhere. Keep them off me while I hack us away out. To purchase the cell block now. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. They're coming up from below. They're coming through that door. Other side. Go. to the hangar. Still need more time. that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to it. Almost done. That did it. Let's move. open the old-fashioned way. Leave that to me. Incoming! Ugh! <laughs> 
engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I... I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system. But just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How are you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket Isocore. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. Right. I'll get everything set up for your arrival. Uh, Project Base out. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reapers' proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. 
You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this Relay must be destroyed. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec, let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Could be a glitch in the system. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! Engaged. Okay. 
constantly for two days now. We've had to increase each dosage. It seemed like Shepard was waking up a moment ago, but it could be a glitch in the system. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. moving and get the hell out of here.
Welcome to Project Control. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you wish to continue? Not if I get to you first. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. Stop now, Kenson. Hackett's friend or not, I will kill you. You're forcing my hand, Shepard. You know that. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Damn it, Kenson! You've been spotted. Stabilize the reactor core. All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Cooling rod A reinserted. Reactor cooling process.
down. Step away from the reactor. You've ruined everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. Turn around. Now. You've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reaper's arrival. All you have to do. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup, now. Communication system damaged. Damn it! Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance.
sound channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Shepard, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed, but even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to be harvested. Yes, people will die. Maybe we'll lose half the galaxy. Maybe more. But I'll do whatever it takes to rid the galaxy of the Reaper threat. However insignificant we might be, we will fight, we will sacrifice, and we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Commander Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Roger that. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Kenson said the Reapers were the galaxy's salvation. Then she captured and sedated me, and held me against my will. She wasn't willing to stop the invasion. So I did what had to be done. Sounds like Amanda was indoctrinated. Well, that's a damn shame. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Collectors out there taking our colonists. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but... There were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. Any sacrifice is worth stopping a Reaper invasion. I happen to agree with you. I'm sorry those Batarians lost their lives, but someone has to make the difficult decisions that get people killed. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best, but at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. 
I stop a Reaper invasion and they want to put me up on charges? It's not a matter of preference, Shepard. You'll be a convenient scapegoat for avoiding open war. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Every little helps.